And we're live with JavaScript Air. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kent C. Dodds, and I am your host for this JavaScript broadcast podcast. Um, just a um, quick shout out to a couple of sponsors because this is a live show, and I'm, I'm not going to, um, <laughs> I don't have a recording. Um, but our premier sponsor is Egghead.io. Incidentally, they're the premier sponsor of the conference. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, yeah, they're fantastic. Go check them out. Also, uh, Front End Masters, also fantastic. I'm grateful for them. Um, TrackJS is awesome. Um, and uh, JetBrains with their WebStorm editor, which is sweet. And um, uh, Trading Technologies, they're awesome. And also, our silver sponsors are React.js uh, Program and uh, Sentry. They're all sweet for sponsoring the show, making it possible for us to do transcriptions um, and uh, the newsletter and stuff like that. Cool. So uh, we are here at React Rally going to be chatting um, with some awesome people about uh, the conference. So let's all just pretend we're in the hallway track of the conference, which actually we kind of are yep. in like actually kind of a dance studio, um, I think. But yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and give everybody a chance to introduce themselves so that we know each other a little bit. So we'll just start this way and we'll go across. I'm Jameson Dance. I'm one of the organizers of the conference. That's okay. I'm Ryan Florence. I'm one of the speakers at the conference. I'm James Long, and I'm one of the speakers as well. Well, I'm Sergio Cruz, and I am attending the conference. I'm Catherine Poulter, and I'm also an attendee. It's been great. Yeah. All right. Um, Jameson, why don't actually we were talking a second ago? We're at a dance studio, but that's not actually where we are. Do you want to talk about this venue and and like what makes it great? Sure. So we are at a theater called the Rose Wagner Auditorium. Um, it's it's a theater. I don't know. It's it's a cool space to have a conference because you're on this giant stage. Uh, it's got like the cool balconies where people can heckle you like those Muppets and yeah, it's. <laughs> It's got a lot of character. The sound carries too for the people who are heckling. Like yeah. You can hear it like. Yeah, the acoustics are really good. Um, so if the audience is yelling at you, you can hear it really well from the. <laughs> no, no, no one, no one yells. Well, um, I, I heard you can't really see it. Is that right, James? You can't see the audience from the stage. Um, yeah, not really. It's actually quite, quite good. Yeah, it feels like a dream. Yeah. There are some <laughs> spotlights carefully aimed directly into your eyeballs. Uh, who, who's, uh, what's his name? Who gave the last talk with the Mike. hardware thing? Mike. Yeah, so when Mike, Mike. Was, when Mike was speaking, he had his little like iPad thing up there, oh, yeah. and I'm sitting there like watching flashing. his talk, and then he twists it, and it's almost like he was aiming right for me, <laughs> and then yeah. the spotlight just hit me right in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to like scoot over one chair, and I look back, and it's, it's like on this guy's shoulder and his cheek, and he's like... <laughs> like, like there's like, like a sniper aiming thing? at him or something? <laughs> yeah. Get ready tomorrow. That'll be you. Cool, cool. So um, let's... Like, what are, what are the favorite parts about the conference? Actually, for uh, Sergio and, and Catherine, like, what do you like about uh, this conference compared to other conferences that you've been to? Want to start? Sure, yeah, good question. Um, I think for me, it's just been fantastic to meet so many people in the community. And people are, from, are here from all over, like New York and California and New uh, Zealand. And New Zealand, yeah, exactly. So it's um, just like getting that you know, time, FaceTime with people. And there are people that you like meet on the internet or like on Twitter, but you get to meet them in real life here, which I think is is amazing. And also um, the conference has like tons of really great events too, to like help us get to know each other. Like there are games going on downstairs and there were uh, there was a dinner meetup, like and plenty of time to talk in between sessions and to get to talk to the speakers too. So I think, um, yeah, those have been some of my favorite things about this conference specifically. Jameson, tell us about the dinner groups. I didn't really get what was going no, on there, great. but I didn't read all my email. Sure. <laughs> uh, but I think it sounded cool. So the idea is there are probably a lot of people here from out of town. They might not know the area. Um, they might not know a ton of people. We want to give people an opportunity to just meet people if they want to. So we sent out um, an email that had a form where you could say, I want this kind of food. And then everyone that chose that kind of food, we kind of grouped together and just sent them all to a restaurant. So it's just a way to... to uh, meet people without it being too like regimented and, and planned out. Yeah, just a way yeah, to, like to get people together. You'll already share at least one thing in common. Yeah, yeah. you you <laughs> all chose Italian yeah, food. So yeah, yeah, perfect. You like to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. Sergio, what do you think? Yeah, um, so to me, it feels like, you know, basically what she just said, by the community for the community kind of thing. So it feels like Everything is like kind of centered around that from the content of the talks to the speakers to 
everything that happens outside of it. So yeah, I've been having a great time. Like it's pretty amazing. Thanks for organizing. Yeah, thanks, Jameson. You're welcome. Yeah, Neither of you mentioned the socks, which are, I think, the best part. <laughs> I haven't talked yet, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get a look at those socks, Ryan. <laughs> those are beauty. Yeah, so for those of you listening, you'll have to watch this later because Ryan's holding um, up some. I'm wearing them. I'm wearing them on stage tomorrow. Awesome. Nice. No shoes, just socks. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you got some sandals already, so it I, I sounds other. like it's gonna be a winning combination. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got other shoes. And Catherine, was it you, Catherine? Yeah. Told me to like actually wear the socks over yeah, the top over of the my pants. pants. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. That would be fantastic. Please do that. Um, great. I'll, I'll wear I'll some of the other later. swag too. I think I'll wear this. Yeah, pretty cool shirt. I like your style. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. I it's really like good. the swag this year. It was good. It's actually James yeah, and I, I were just walking down the street and we walked past. What store uh, was it? It was a cool store. Yeah. <laughs> it was it, a cool store. It wasn't Banana Republic <laughs> or H&M, but it was one like that. And there was a dude in like, or a mannequin that had like this sweet leather jacket and like super cool pants. I was like, should I, should I buy all of that? And <laughs> get and my talk in it? <laughs> just keep the tags on. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. So James, you gave your talk today. Do you want to talk about what you talked about? <laughs> sure. Um, so we've been doing a lot of work in the Firefox DevTools team, um, doing a lot of refactoring, honestly. And so I, I always think it's interesting to talk about uh, what that's like. I feel like um, you know, there's a lot of pains in refactoring. And uh, I, I just wanted to show like why it's good to do it sometimes. Uh, a lot of people have sort of a reaction to, like, we don't want to like spend a lot of time. Because um, it's really been, in the last six months, we've been spending a lot of our time doing it and really even in the last year. Um, so I don't know. I just I spoke about what we were doing. I showed off the new debugger, which is something that I've been working on. Um, showed off a lot of cool demos with that uh, to sort of try to reinforce this idea that um, we weren't even close to being able to do any of that before. And so now spending six months of hard time um, sort of rethinking what we were doing just puts us in a really good place. And so it's sort of just trying to explain why we were doing that. One thing I loved about your talk was how real it was. There's a lot of books you can buy about refactoring that are like, <laughs> Once you read this, your life will change for the better forever and everything will be easy. Yeah. And then there's a lot on the other side where like a manager's like, refactoring, that's garbage and a waste of time. And you were like very, features. yeah, you were very real. Like sometimes refactoring is hard, which is something that like yeah. the fancy blog posts don't mention. But it, it, it's easier to believe you when you acknowledge like this is the real world yeah. and, and there are trade offs. Yeah. So I, I liked it. Thank you. I mean, we struggle with that a lot. I mean, I, I was sort of somebody who was pushing a lot of this because I wanted to react. Uh, I, I really thought it was a legitimate improvement. But um, I mean, I was sort of sensitive to this fact, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I am biased, you know? And um, But like, this is really hard. So I don't know. I try to try to be grounded in reality. And um, But luckily, other people started doing it as well. And the team started buying into it. So it was good. Yeah, one of the things, another thing that I loved about your talk was like, it was more than just refactoring. You you demonstrated that um, having a good architecture and a good design, um, you kind of fall into this um, situation where like, oh, I didn't think about that, but now we can do this. Yep. Like, wow, like, ha, ha, you know, separating our things out so we can have these circles like you were talking about throughout our architecture means that we can swap out different pieces and now all of a sudden I'm, you know, alerting in my browser with my console or with my editor, like that was pretty slick. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Cool. Thank Sweet. Um, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say I liked watching your talk when I was, and I was like, okay, so he's building this in React, and then he's got a bug in his code. Where does he debug <laughs> the debugger? <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah. That's the title of the talk. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just sit back and wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about doing it in modern web dev. Like I showed you, we can just do it in a tab. I mean, before this, I actually literally could not, as I said in my talk, could not, yeah, I broke the debugger. So I actually could not use the debugger. I started wondering if like, I wonder if their first iteration, they would debug their debugger in Chrome's debugger yeah. <laughs> until they got theirs working on itself. Well, it's actually, that's, that's kind of like languages that are written in themselves, right? Like you have to write, write it in, in Ruby something. first and then you yeah. write it in CoffeeScript. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're CoffeeScript. Nice, nice. What other talks did you all like from the, the conference so far? This is only day one, so we still have another day of wonderful talks. What other talks were awesome? I can chime in. Um, that first one on yeah, animation. Well, yes, yeah, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah right? Uh -huh. What was your last name? Sorry, Drasner. Drasner. It's not Edo. 
Well, I, I guess it's if it's on the internet or real life. <laughs> well, I had to follow the internet version right away when she started the talk. It was yeah, so was good. Awesome. Yeah, so I loved how she started with the whys and then she went into the house because, like, I don't, you know, I'm not really into design too much or anything like that. So, like, seeing her explore, like, all the things that she could do, but, like, having that context of why she was doing it beforehand so it was amazing. Like, that, it's like, it, sorry, dude, it was my favorite talk so far. That's fine. <laughs> Yours was my second favorite <laughs> thus far, though. Here's my beat. Yeah. Third, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, I, I don't, yeah. Anyway, it's not. A it's a lot of pressure. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, so far all the talks have been awesome. But just that whole context with the design was amazing to me. Yeah, that one was really cool too because I liked that she showed a demo of like animation done tastefully. Like she, so, she had a map, and you click on the pin on the map, and that turns into this. Uh, form thing and then you fill out the form and everything is animating so fluidly and she was able to reference back on that example like explain you know this is this is animation done right and it was it was just really a beautiful animation yeah, um, a lot of times you go on like the stuff that people do on code pen is amazing yeah like they recreated the simpsons characters and their eyes are blinking mm -hmm. but it's like Am I going to do that at work? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm like your last day, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, give you two weeks notice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got my final project ready. Yeah, I don't know why any boss ever like has you work on anything that matters for those last two weeks. <laughs> like, it's okay, stop what you're doing. Tell your team. Now go make Simpsons CSS. <laughs> well, another cool thing about what she was showing, I thought, was um, that it was very... I mean, it really kind of followed the principle of like animation is great when it's invisible. Like, you know, she talked about, um, you know, the form afterwards. Like, if I were to ask somebody, like, where's the form? I'd be like, oh, well, it's in there. But I mean, it really had just kind of things just kind of kept coming out of it. And then from one interaction or animation to the next, like, they just flow really nicely together. And I mean, it, it was all these parts they never like got hidden. They all just like morphed into the next thing. And so it was just really like, I mean, like, you're just left with like, wow, that was a great experience. And you just kind of want to keep exploring the site, I think, after that, looking for like more great interactions. She also went into like technical stuff a lot. So it was a really, like, it's very hard to balance that. Like, she showed a lot of really cool high level why animation is good, but then also like went into all these libraries. Um, so that was really good. And like, it was, she was very un unbiased about all these libraries, like pros and cons. I felt like I always really like people who just say the facts. And I mean, I'm sure she has a preference, but yeah, it was good. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, one of my favorite talks was uh, Brian Lensdorf. Uh, his talk, what was that called? It's called O Composable World. O Composable World. So that one was like, Brian is be one the of title my... of my talk. Oh, <gasps> not too late. Should we change it? O yeah, Composable sure. World 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I changed the start time of this episode like four times. So yeah, you can change it, whatever you want. I didn't even know what the title of your talk was until like two days ago. So. Just put like a comma or. <laughs> oh, composable world. Well, what I loved about, or like, what I love about Brian in general is that he is just a really intelligent, functional programmer guy that um, can really speak to the functional programmer beginner. Um, and uh, I think that he just like explained the, you know, kind of or, or demonstrated why um, functional paradigms are so useful. Toward the end, there he had uh, he kind of went way over my head with the React um, stuff using functional paradigms, like only functional paradigms with, with React. Um, but like it really... And admittedly, think, he's like, here's where it gets like really <laughs> weird. <Good luck. laughs> but stay with me if you can. Yeah, I think that's one that you could go back and rewatch a couple of times and, and then you'll get it. Um, I could listen to him talk about anything. <laughs> like if you want to get up and talk about lunch. Like, yes. He, he's an enjoyable person to listen to. And like it was a very engaging and entertaining talk too. Uh, the really fun part for me was when he had the uh, the code up there that was making like three assignments and then returned like those three things kind of all together. And then he's like, okay, so how do we get rid of assignment? And then uh, when he just like dumped the thing into an array yep. and now all of a sudden he could call map where he could give lambdas into map, um, got rid of assignment and now we just had these functions. That was that was a really cool like aha moment. Ouch. <laughs> aha, I'll hit the back of my head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoop forward. But yeah, it was sort of like an aha moment, like, okay, I see, I kind of see what we're doing here. 
Yeah, like his, the put it in a box or throw it in a box is what he said. And um, I, I actually had talked with him about that um, a while ago. And uh, just the other day, I decided, oh, like I had a big function where I was doing a bunch of assignments and had a whole bunch of state in that function, or variables. And, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I try to throw this in a box, like what would that do? And it really, like, just like he showed in the talk, it really kind of cleaned up the code and made it really easy to see what was going on. And what's really cool now is if I need to make a, an alteration, it's just a matter of adding another map or another filter or, like, you know, an, or a reduce or something. Uh, with an arrow function, and uh, it just makes it a lot easier to uh, to come back and make changes to it. So I have a question since you did that yourself. Was there an underlying library for the things that he was talking about, or was it more so just the concepts behind so it? So what he was talking about in his talk, uh, he actually like sort of created a, that little library. It was like four lines of code at the top of the box. There's some thing. hidden library stuff in there too later. It's like, yeah. oh, all of a sudden we have this fold thing. Yeah, right. well, he implemented the fold thing, though. Um, okay. I think. Contra map. Yeah, we Contra, never saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, we didn't see that. <laughs> that's I, a made up word. Anyways. That was where I, like he kind of lost me. But, um, but yeah, like when when I did it, it, I didn't even make the box thing. I just said, okay, here's this string that I'm manipulating, doing things to. Just stick that in an array and then call map on it. And then uh, I didn't have like a folder or anything. I just, you know, I returned that array dot map dot map dot map and then popped off the first item of that array and it, it worked great. So it was just a native. Uh, yep, JavaScript all just stuff. native JavaScript, That's awesome. no, no libraries, and it was pretty easy, and it's Very pretty cool. I like it. It's like I think if anyone is listening to this, um, uh, you better watch the talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What? I wasn't going to be mean. Um, no, I was going to say, um, uh, so I'm a little biased because I've written a library that implements this, but uh, Clojure came out with this thing called transducers, which I think is a super interesting thing. I'm not going to explain it right now. Just putting it in here if anyone uh, is listening to this and wants to look into more transforming libraries. but. Um, it's cool for all these reasons. I'm gonna say the word. I'm gonna say the word again because you said it kind of fast. Okay. Transducers. Yes, correct. Can you spell that? T r a n s d u s e r. If you're listening to this on two x, you might slow that part down. I'll have to just believe you because <laughs> I couldn't comprehend. No, what just that ask Google. Meant. Just say yeah. Google. Look up transducers. <laughs> yeah. It'll it'll get it. I feel like that spells pretty straightforward. It'll probably be like right? a picture of your face. Well, James. it could be like D e u x or something like that. <laughs> Google will correct it. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> So one thing I like about the talks that have been talked about is a thing I like about JavaScript, which is they're like so wildly different, right? There's this talk about very UI-focused animation things, and then this talk about like category theory and functional programming, and and there was a talk about pure script and and uh, kind of strongly typed functional programming, and it's all JavaScript or JavaScript related things, and and. I can't think of another language that covers as wide of a variety of things. So I, I like learning a lot of different things, and I can do that all through the lens of JavaScript, which is pretty awesome. I think it's also worth mentioning that um, React is kind of the first UI library that has brought together people with that varied of like backgrounds in sure. JavaScript. Yeah. I mean, I I could be wrong. I'm sure people will correct That's me on fair. Twitter, but. Um, uh, it, it's we say it in our workshops all the time that React just gets out of your way like immediately, like as soon as you get over JSX, or in or, James' or case, just doesn't even use it. Use it. Yeah. Um, as soon as like it's you awesome. understand that you're just calling a function to make a to make some a UI description, and then just JavaScript is right back in your face. Um, and so it's a uh, it's this kind of framework that's allowed people from all different I don't want to say walks of life, all different paradigms of programming. Uh, got an alliteration wow, in there, yeah. yeah. Like um, to just kind of like come together with all these great ideas. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, well, and um, also that reminded me of Raquel's talk, um, where she talked about um, everything she learned from like going from no no knowledge of React or really even liking JavaScript to then like making tons of mistakes and learning from them, and then you know from that like just having somebody like talk about you know the pains that they learned and then being like I'm like a better programmer because of that I'm grateful for those experiences like I think it's cool because it's something that we don't talk as much about in the community I think we're kind of like hey I did this cool thing you know figured it out maybe it took a really long time we don't usually talk about that and so I think it's sure. it's good to acknowledge that like we're all learning and like even if you've like been in the industry for like 10 years you can pick up something new and you're a newbie again and it's good to remember what that feels like too because it can be a little daunting so 
and and even with her talk, like I was on Twitter just researching the hashtag React Rally and seeing what people were saying, and she brought to light so many things that people hadn't realized yet. I I remember uh, one one tweet in specific. They were like, "If you think you've mastered async Redux, think again. Watch this talk." Yada yada yada. So. It was amazing. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. That was cool. Yeah, well, and you brought up a good point too. Like, even if, um, like, even if you use something a lot, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily like really using it the right way or like you know in a great way. So I think it's good to like you know, remember to like watch those things again or or maybe even like do a tutorial. So then you're like, am I doing this the right way and trying to teach it, you know, to other people? Yeah, actually, it's it's funny that you say that um, because I think we are probably all doing something wrong and we have no idea. Um, like even even the things that are termed best practices, we're going to find out in like a year or two, like, yeah, that was not a good idea. Yeah. Um, and, and that's just like the process of, of learning and, and becoming better as uh, software engineers, mm -hmm. um, I think. And, and that's something that I find really exciting about this industry is that like things are constantly changing. Best practices are always being questioned. Um, and actually, that are they? kind of segues into are they? Talk. Yeah, exactly. I knew I knew you would speak up. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so no, let's let's hear it. So, what is the title of your talk? You'll have to like. I really don't know yet. It depends. Uh, right yeah, now, it depends wait, actually. wait, right now it literally is okay, give rethinking. Me a break. Stop. My job is literally to talk about React in front of people. So, it's really hard to pick what I'm actually going to talk about until it's going to happen. But anyway. It's called. That's just what an organizer wants to do. Yeah, hear. exactly. <laughs> so if you were to give the talk now, uh, right, right now, now what would well, James and I had Chick Fil A, so do about chicken nuggets because they were amazing. <laughs> and there's no shame in yes, liking they were. fast food. Anyway, um, so no, the title is a component uh, that's called a rethinker. So, what do you what do you call the angle bracket? Yeah, West yeah. yeah or just bunch of, so <laughs> open angle bracket. <laughs> Stop equals false. So stop rethinking things. Stop equals stop false. Stop not e rethinking things. So like Rethink always everything. rethink. Don't stop rethinking. All right. So let's let's get a little synopsis though. Come on, Ryan. <laughs> there, there's nothing. There's nothing on the website. Your, it's, your uh, talk has nothing. So I want to hear something. I guess we kind of talked about it in um, the little podcast that you did, leading up to the yeah um, yeah uh, React rally. Um, we actually call it the rally a lot with people. Are you going to be at the rally? Um, that sounds good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have concerns. OK, we won't do that anymore. Um, components are pretty cool. Uh, and and when, we first, when we first got React, we all kind of didn't know what to do with it. Uh, but a lot of us were like shipping. And people would ask us, like, well, why do you like React so much? It's like, I, I don't know. All I know is, like, things are simpler in my brain right and, now. And I can actually ship stuff. Yeah, quickly. and I'm, yeah, and I'm, and I'm shipping. Um, and uh, now you don't hear that as much. Um, you hear a lot of, like, frustration um, with, with great stuff that's happened in the community. Uh, but when you come in, like, as a beginner, there's a whole lot of stuff that, like, are best practices and that you're supposed to do now. Um, and I, I'm not sure that we've explored components enough. Uh, I think there's some really interesting things that you can do with components. So um, I, I hope the talk just makes people uh, think about components as rethink a little bit more. About components? Yeah, yeah. Uh, rethink your components and think about what you can do with them. So I'm going to show off a couple of components that some of them people will think are pretty cool. Some of them are probably going to make people mad. Uh, <laughs> And it's going to be. I, I never imagined that a component can make me mad, but I'm looking forward I, to I've it. I've got some tweets as proof already of <laughs> like people being upset about what they've seen on GitHub the last couple of days. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, components are really cool, and there's uh, there's some really neat stuff that you can do with them. Cool. I'm looking forward to that talk. Um, so we are we're we're going to do a short show today. Um, but is there anything else that uh, that y'all want to mention or bring up about the conference or? Anything exciting going on in the React community that you want to chat about? Jameson and Mike, uh, Matt Zabriskie have killed it so with this yes. conference. Yes. Like, yes. The branding is awesome. The stage looks awesome. The speakers have been treated amazingly well. The attendees have been treated well. Um, yeah, if you're doing a conference, model it after this one. Thank it's you. been awesome. Mike in the bathroom and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, I did. I did leave there. a hot mic. I didn't go to the bathroom though. <laughs> but I was like walking around in the lobby with the mic turned on. And 
uh, I got a lot of tweets. <laughs> so people care. That's Can you good. believe we got all these jokers to show up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I wasn't like saying anything horrible. Yeah, but it it's sounded just like, like this. Yes, oh, yeah, it's kind of like not ideal for the speaker, but <laughs> he handled it well too. I think like one thing is like um, just like remember. Like, if you are here, like, remember, like, what it's like to be here and, like, the excitement that you feeds things, like, when you're, like, you know, programming and you're, like, loving something or especially when you're, like, oh, this is frustrating, like, remembering that there's a whole community, you know, behind this. And, and even for those that aren't here, like, watching the talks that you're interested in and reaching out to the speakers and be, like, hey, like, I really liked what you said about this and I had a question about this and, like, following up, like, I think it just makes the community better and it helps us you know, write better code. So. Yeah, I remember my first conference I went to was a jQuery conference and I actually, they actually asked me to speak at it. I hadn't even been programming for more than like eight months, um, but it's something weird with Mootools and jQuery and they're like, hey, we want to hear about this. Um, but like looking around, I like didn't know anybody. I wanted to talk to some of the speakers, but they like intimidated the heck out of me. It's like, oh, I can't go talk to them. They're, they're like cool programmers and, um, but yeah, I tell you what, the speakers, like, they're just like everybody else. We're all straight from the community. Yeah, you should just walk up and talk to anyone that you want to meet. Oh, yeah. All right, sweet. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you all for uh, coming and giving a little bit of your fun React Rally time to this show. And, uh, yeah, with that, I think we can say goodbye. Now, this is the awkward part where I walk up to the computer to hit the stop <laughs> button. So, yep, here we, we go. Make faces in Doom, the back. See you. Doom. Bye. Doom. Bye. Doom. Bye. Doom.